Welcome to Demigod Rising, PS4 and more. Don't forget to like, leave a like on the video and subscribe. What is going on guys? And today I'm going to be showing you my PvP slash PvE hybrid build on my class. Now as many well, some of my subscribers I've been playing with like Vanguardial, I don't even know how to say his name properly. Um I think he did ask me for my build or one of my subscribers did. While I was at school. Like about two weeks ago, so I decided to make this video now. Now, this this build I probably uh, haven't really tuned it up that much, but it's a hybrid build, so it's not gonna be the best. So yeah. Now I guess the hybrid build does work for everything. Now for PvP, I use my infective um, because it regenerates ammo, and the last round in this magazine deals a load of damage. This just really helps when you're playing control and you're trying to get people. So I'm you in like a small control zone, you can just go bang straight, straight in the face and they'll fuck off and they'll die. Then I use this MBT for PvE and sometimes the hitchhiker depends if I'm doing prison of elders or not. I sometimes use um Lord of Wolves if I want to, but not half the time. This is my PvP PvE sorry um weapon. I like it a lot because it's got who's next and um, reactive reload. I also have a feather mag which I don't really like to use because the reload's way too quick. And plus, reactive reload is brilliant. For example, you just like use the final because who's next and reactive reload goes perfect with each other. Field scout, I usually use that one with raids or something like that. I don't really use this other site. It looks horrible, so I don't not, so I won't use it. And then it comes over to my nightmare. Now this is actually a PVE slash PVP build for this. Well, God roll. I would call this a God roll for both because it's got grenades and horseshoes, field scouts, and tripod. If you have to moan about that, I cannot. If you moan about that, I would not. I would literally just kill you. I would not speak to you at all. I would probably just kill you and then not speak to you after I killed you and not speak to any of your family members. But yeah, no one can diff my nightmare. Because I am a nightmare. Now, my armor doesn't really help with the PvP slash PvE. I barely even use the evade because this is like basically it's been patched out many times. I only use it because it's 332. I just basically got a glass house a minute ago that is 334, so I infused it into this. I don't use the fender subclass. I don't like it. I never will like it. Now my discipline and intellect is at max. My strength I don't even use my sunstrike that much. So that's how I like it. Now my scales of air is 332, I got that from Cordoroix. Challenge Valders, I've got a 335. What was it keepers boots and all that? 335, Twilight Garrison at 332, 333, then um, I got some gauntlets from like the bonus rewards after you do the um, challenge and then the glass house is there. Now here comes a bit that makes it makes my sunbreaker it's sunbreaker. The build. Now I bet some people will like just go, this build's up to shit. Why do you use this build for? And I'm like, yeah, because I like it. So what I have is uh, Titan Codex 2, speed and toughness. I need that speed for the Titan. I would have Titan Codex 1 because that means I have like no speed but more recovery. And then that's no point because that does the same as that, but just takes away agility. But takes away armor, sorry. A fleet fire, really useful, but explosive pyre, very useful. If you're like doing PvE. But fleet fire 
helps loads. Because example, you just got a melee kill or a grenade kill, you will get reload speed and agility. It helps in PvP loads. Hurt Titan Codex 5 Recovery, yeah. You need it as a Titan because you've got the armor. You're gonna need it to soak all those bullets a bit more and help your team. Quarter eyes. It is freaking brilliant. I'm just about dead on Crucible while someone's using my someone shoot me while I shoot a super. I throw my hammer at them, bang! My house starts regenerating straight away. I've got so many good plays of this with Iron Banner, with my Sunbreaker, me just sitting there smashing the shit out of people. It's just insane. Now I don't know what next this month's Iron Banner's gonna be, but I just goddamn hope it's not gonna be this week. Next week, if you know what I mean. Yeah, tomorrow, on Tuesday. But I don't usually, I don't like Warlock, I don't like Hunter that much. But I've got a level 40 Warlock, I was just playing with my friends on that one. Now I just sit here and play this. I want to get this character up to 335 before anything. But I think the most thing I'm going to struggle with is my artifact. My class mark as well. Because near and everything of mine is over 330. Well, everything of mine is over 330 now. Nothing's under 330. So, yeah. I do like this. I do like my Titan, the way he looks. It's just the fact that I'm struggling to get these, like, motes of light and that. Not motes of light, strange coins. I've got a new one for every dead orbit shader. I think I've got both his ships. I think I'm missing out one of his emblems. I'm not sure. Well, I hope you enjoy enjoyed the video, and don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Bye-bye.